Welcome back. Rush Limbaugh serving humanity simply by being here the cutting edge of societal evolution. We have a a little bit of an update story, update on this story from the Daily Caller. FBI missed Clinton emails openly marked classified, wanted to conclude probe before the inspector general caught the mistake. Look, everything we're learning about this just confirms what we are pretty confident we know, and that is the fix was in when it comes to any investigation of Hillary Clinton. It was never, ever going to amount to anything. Just like it never, ever has. There never has been an investigation of the Clintons that ever went anywhere short of Bill Clinton being caught lying under oath, testifying to Ken Starr in a grand jury. That that, that would be hard to cover up, but he got a slap on the wrist for it. He kept his office in the presidency, but lost his law license. He wasn't even using it. And uh, the Democrat Party made him their ranking biggest star until Obama came along. But this story is the FBI did not flag that some emails from Hillary Clinton's private server were marked classified with a C when they were sent, something that seemingly would have been one of the first and most obvious checks in an investigation. The intelligence community inspector general noticed it after the FBI missed it. And we know this because of text messages between Struck, Stroke, and Lisa Page. Man, these people were doing nothing but texting each other. I wonder if they found a way to have sex via text message. Because they were doing this a lot more than they were spending it. It seems to me. These people were just back and forth like you can't believe. And a new reveal here. Holy cow, Struck wrote... If the FBI missed this, what else was missed? What they missed was that Hillary was tracking, trafficking in classified data. You and I all know this. This is why all of this is so maddening and frustrating. We know it. We know what she did. We know what she did was illegal. So do they. They exonerated her. They helped make it look like it wasn't illegal. And even if it was, she didn't intend it to be. So nothing to see here. If the FBI missed this, what else was missed? Remind me to tell you to flag for Andy emails that we found that have portion marks, that would be the C for classified, on a couple of paragraphs. DOJ was very concerned about this. Found on the 30,000 emails provided to state originally. Nobody noticed. If you remember back when all this was happening live... We had story after story that, well, look, there's so much classified that practically all of it is. So you really can't hold her accountable for that. And then, remember, there were some. She didn't know that the C meant classified. Remember that excuse being offered? She thought the C was like a copyright signal. She's looking at an internal Department of Justice, State Department documents, and she thinks that some of them have a copyright insignia there rather than a C for cl- and, and, and we were told well that's understandable no it's not understandable and she didn't think that she knew they were classified she didn't think things were being copyrighted here the fix was in from the get-go for whatever reasons I'm sure there are multiple reasons now I want to backtrack to something that a lot of us consider to be pretty important bombshell stuff yesterday And that is the discovered text messages, Lisa Page to Struck Stroke, telling him POTUS wants to know everything. And we inferred from this that Obama was interfering and demanding to be told everything they were learning in the investigation. I got a heads up last night and this morning from my old buddy Andy McCarthy, who says, Rush, don't feel bad, but you and everybody are missing the point on this. And I'm just going to read what he wrote. He said, Rush, the issue is not that the FBI was briefing Obama. This 
is a counterintelligence investigation, not criminal. They are supposed to brief Obama. Every intelligence operation, every counterintelligence operation is designed for the president's eyes. He cannot interfere in a counterintelligence investigation, theoretically, since he is entitled to know everything they learn. In fact, they have to report to him. Counterintelligence is done for the president. In fact, he cannot obstruct it because it's not a criminal investigation. It's not a judicial proceeding. So even if the president says, I don't want to see it, he cannot obstruct it. Now, the point here is that this is a counterintelligence investigation. All of this, the, the, the Steele dossier, the investigation of Trump, there is no criminal investigation of this. It's always been counterintelligence. That's why collusion isn't a crime in part. Mueller is not, he was not even given a crime to investigate in his special counsel investigation. There is no crime. So Andy's point here is that the real point that everybody needs to realize, the real thing everybody needs to realize here, Trump cannot be guilty of obstructing this. It is a counterintelligence investigation. And as such, all of the work product produced is for the president. It's not that he has to ask for it. And it's not that asking for it proves any kind of bias or uh, inter, inter, intersection of politics and so forth. It, it's simply the way it is. But this, by the same token, the president, no president, can be guilty of obstructing a counterintelligence operation. He gets to weigh in on it, just like Obama did. The president of the United States, even if he were interfering in it, he gets to do that because counterintelligence is done for the president. Now, in fairness, I realize some of you are going to think, wait a minute, this doesn't make any sense. I don't understand it. McCarthy has been pounding this point for over a year in column after column after column. That this whole thing that we're in the midst of here is a counterintelligence investigation and not criminal. And the the reasons, the the distinctions, the differences are are significant and profound. A counterintelligence investigation is not looking for a crime. A counterintelligence investigation is not looking for people or things to punish. A counterintelligence investigation is looking to find out how we may have been penetrated, how our secrets may have been found, and it's a, it's a way of backtracking intelligence services and their performance and our enemies and what they're doing. But there's nothing criminal to it. And since it all is done for the president, doesn't matter if it's Clinton, Obama, George W. Bush, counterintelligence operations are done for the president as the commander in chief and the head honcho of the executive branch. So Andy's point here is struck stroke, we're not violating any laws by keeping Obama informed because they're required to. It's not unusual Obama would want to be kept informed because all presidents are entitled to be informed. What the real takeaway here is that there is no way Robert Mueller or anybody else can find President Trump guilty of obstructing a counterintelligence investigation because he's entitled to know everything going on within it. And yet they are still investigating Trump for obstruction. And who knows what Mueller's going to produce? Now, they know what I've just told you, but it's not going to stop them because they're relying on the fact that many people think this is a criminal investigation. And it's a pretty big distinction. OK, let me take a break here. I, I, I wanted to make sure that I uh, 
got to this before too much time went by because everybody thought we had a bombshell yesterday. And many of you might still think we do. I'm just sharing with you what my uh, what are the few experts that I consult here. In most cases, I'm the expert. But in some rare instances, I need to consult those who have actually worked in these departments and whose uh, careers are built around this kind of knowledge. And Andy McCarthy is one of those types. So I wanted to make sure I got that to you before too much time went by today.